Greg Lardy here, and we are with Andrew Green. Andrew is our spring wheat breeder here at NDSU. So, Andrew, tell us a little bit about uh, what we're seeing here at, at uh, the Carrington Research Extension Center today. Yeah, Greg, we've got a number of breeding plots here in the program, about 1,800 or so, and we're standing in front of a foundation seed production field of ND Stampede, our newest hard red spring wheat, which will be distributed through the county crop improvement next year. We've got good yield potential and it looks like it's going to do uh, well here and really excited about it. Yeah, so what's, uh, you know, this uh, field season, what's the day in the life of a spring wheat breeder like? Yeah, it varies a lot by day. Um, this year, better or worse, we're doing a lot of disease ratings, uh, trying to get a good look at all of our trials across the state, getting an early sense of when harvest might fall, um, getting my visual assessment of the agronomic adaptation of the lines, visiting seed production fields, um, got to do some lower generation selections. Uh, we're somewhere different every day. So I know, uh, Andrew, in addition to Stampede, we also had a specialty release of a hard red white wheat uh, this year. So talk a little bit about Nighthawk. Yeah, ND Nighthawk is a hard white spring wheat, which is developed um, in collaboration with the Hedinger REC, really intended for the growth in that southwestern part of the state. Um, interested in this for whole grain white flour production. So imagine your whole grain bread that doesn't have that sort of bitter taste that red wheat can sometimes have. A um, lot of interest in the in the industry, and we're really excited to have a new variety for farmers. It'll be a, a value added identity preserved product that should be a really fun opportunity. Andrew, anything else you want to add about the hard red spring wheat breeding program? No, you know we're 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 all busy this time of year. We have a big program and uh, a lot of good help, a lot of support from the wheat commission and the RECs and other departments on campus. And it takes an awful big group to keep this going, but it's a fun time of year. Andrew, thanks for everything you're doing for NDSU Agriculture. Yeah, thank you.